Hi, it's Johanna here. I'm one of the directors of SAS Rights and one of the co-directors of the Shiloh Project and SAS Rights together with the Shiloh Project to help orange the world. And I want to introduce to you a really fabulous contributor and supporter of SAS Solutions and the Shiloh Project. Her name is Saima Ashraf. Saima, as you will see in the little clip coming next where she introduces herself, is a really extraordinary person. Did you know that gender-based violence is not only frighteningly common, but that it affects most profoundly groups that are already very, very vulnerable in our community? And that includes the disabled people who are already struggling perhaps in all sorts of ways, even if they are coping magnificently with some of the obstacles life has thrown at them. Saima Ashraf is an advocate for disabled people in the community. She is the only registered blind chartered accountant in all of England. And she's a dynamo. She does so many things. She's an advocate. She's a governor. She works for the police. She's a volunteer worker. And she is somebody with great commitment and energy who contributes wonderfully to our organization. So go find out more about her. Hi, my name is Saima Ashraf and I am the only registered blind chartered accountant in the UK today. For the last 15 years I've had a career in audit and for the last seven years particularly working for Merseyside Police. Alongside that I present a radio programme on Pendle Community Radio every Tuesday evenings between 5 and 7pm. I'm also passionate about promoting visual impairment and supporting those with visual impairment and blindness. I'm a governor at St Vincent School for the Sensory Impaired in Liverpool and I carry out a lot of charity work with them. As part of that, I've now been approached by the Shiloh Project and SAS Rights and I'm very passionate about working and stamping out domestic violence. There are many women and males out there who are suffering alone and having lived with sight loss, I know that disabled people suffer alone in the community. They feel isolated, they are coming to terms with the condition that they result in regardless of the disability. Having sight loss as a teenager myself, I spent many years coming to terms with this and how difficult it is and unless you have a supportive family and supportive friends like I did, it's very hard to get through the difficult times you're faced with. If on top of that you are subjected to a relationship where you're going to be suffering domestic violence, then it's more likely that you're not going to reach out for any help. So my message today is to try and make them people out there who are suffering alone, with a disability or without a disability, to encourage them to reach out to SAS Rights, to the Shiloh Project. Just want to let them know there is support out there. As long as you make the connection, it takes you to make the first step and then after that, organisations like the Shiloh Project and SAS Rights are there to support you. So that's my message for today and I hope it's going to encourage you to take that first step.